I had to grab the end of the hose and stick it back in the hole as quick as I could. It was disgusting. Okay, here it is. Oh gosh, you can barely see it. Oh, it's way out there. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm taking this little guy for a ride. I just basically dewinterized it, filled all the tanks, um, fresh water, put some bleach in with the fresh water. Um, sorry. I uh, did a black tank flush, so I filled the black tanks full of water. I ran the water for a while so there's some water in the gray so I can rinse the black tanks later. Um, but I wanted to, uh, you know, rinse, rinse everything out and go flush it. And I kind of wanted to do a, like a MPG and a tow review. And I just want to say this, this is a uh, third time I've hooked up to it. The first time was when we hooked up to it and brought it home. It was totally unloaded and empty. Um, we have camped in it once where I put about half a tank of water, fresh water, because we didn't need a lot. We just did a couple nights. Um, right now I've got a full tank. It's about 90 gallons of fresh water. So it's it's loaded. The black tanks all combined, all the blacks are 90 gallons, all the grays are 90 gallons combined. My grays are about half full so maybe 45 gallons of gray um, 180 gallons between the fresh and the black all together so 225 ish gallons all together um, when we took it camping it was a great great drive great pull um, this truck 7.3 Godzilla 430 horsepower 475 foot-pounds of torque it's got the 10-speed transmission and it is fantastic this fifth wheel I'm pulling dry weight is 10,029 pounds uh, the uh, kingpin weight the hitch weight 1600 pounds and I've got a payload capacity on this truck of a little over 2800 pounds and the gooseneck slash fifth wheel max tow is about 17,000 17,600 pounds so this is well within the limits of this truck uh, with room to spare uh, I drove it from uh, northern Utah to uh, Lava Hot Springs Idaho uh, it feels like you're driving uphill both ways when you go to lava. There's a, a, a pretty good, there, there's a few good steep hills and uh, a mountain pass that's at about 6,000 feet. And this truck didn't break a sweat. I, I could even, I wasn't even full throttle going up the hills. I was maintaining speed. If I needed to, I could have given up more and passed somebody if I wanted to. Granted, I'd probably get three or four miles to the gallon doing that, but um, it is getting around eight miles to the gallon pulling this trailer, which uh, compare that to some of the new diesels. I've never really towed with a diesel, um, so I couldn't really tell you, but from what I hear, some of those diesels are still 10 or 12 miles to the gallon anyway, or even lower depending on the weight. Um, and then if you consider, um, I, the diesel might get you a little bit more, a little better fuel economy overall, but I think for the price of the diesel, the price of DEF, the actual cost of purchasing a diesel motor engine, then overall i think for the small amount of towing i do this is definitely a bargain 
I'm probably going to tow this trailer six or eight times this summer. And that's about it. If we, uh, if we were full timers, I'd consider it diesel. Also, when I found this truck, um, I kind of, I was really excited about the price. Um, and that was because it didn't have a $10,000 upcharge for a diesel. But if it came with the diesel and it was still at the price point I wanted, I wouldn't have said no. However, I really am impressed with this motor. Um, I don't know if you could hear it a minute ago. I just came off of a corner, turned a corner and started going and you could hear it, it was going. I'm going to, actually I'm gonna take the left here. Now, I'm in tow haul mode. I'm in third gear. Right now I'm 20 miles an hour. So I'm just gonna get up to speed. It's 40 on this road. Right now I dropped to second gear. Now it's the third. I'm already to 45 miles an hour. I'm, I'm there. I can't, can't give it the beans any more than that. I'm already uh, above the speed limit a little bit. But right now it's just like kicking down into cruise mode. It's it's shifted from it shifted from fifth to seventh just now. Seventh is a one to one gear ratio. Um, it's eighth, ninth, and tenth are all overdrives. I kind of think it's gonna pop into an overdrive here in a minute on this flat road. Yeah, it just shifted to eighth gear. I, I notice when I'm in tow haul mode towing usually it just hits that uh that one overdrive eighth gear it doesn't get to ninth or tenth very often um, i think if i put it in normal mode i'd probably it'd probably trick itself into thinking it wasn't towing and shift to ninth or tenth but yeah i think even in ninth or tenth there's plenty of power i got a stop sign coming up here i'll be able to do a zero to 40 and uh I don't have a stopwatch. I'm filming with my stopwatch, but let's go. There's 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And I was in second gear. It went from first to second. You can hear it still revving. It's like 4,500 RPMs. It's just slowing back down to 30 miles an hour right now, but that tow haul mode is keeping it in gear. For the power now i'm going 45 miles an hour i'm in eighth gear which is overdrive um let's see what my my little instant fuel economy gauge is saying that i'm getting about 13 which is what i normally get when i'm driving 13.2 is my average city highway Sometimes on the freeway, I'll get up to 15 if I'm taking it easy. Sorry about that, I got an incoming call. Anyway, I'm just jumping onto the freeway, onto the interstate. I'm already up to 60. There she is in all our glory. So big, I can't even get it all in the photo. Um, there's like an inch of squat. Actually, it just kind of leveled out. That's it. Full tanks in this guy. Truck looks great. Trailer's ginormous. But it's just looking good. I've got this dialed in. I feel really good about it. This uh, gap right here, 
uh, what's that? It almost, I don't know, let's see, five, six inches. Should be about six anyway, so. Alright guys, so I just weighed my truck. I'll have to post the uh, the weight. I just gave it a quick glance. Um, truck with trailer with full tanks. I'm going to jump on the interstate again. Um, head back home. It's, uh, let's see, we are hmm, about 10 miles from home. So at the end of this, I'm going to do a little, you know, we'll talk about my fuel economy. I've been on the highways, back roads, 40 to 50 miles an hour. I did jump on the freeway for a second, um, got up to 60, 70, then jumped off to get to weigh the trailer and then the truck. And now I'm jumping back on, on the on-ramp here. I'm just giving it like half throttle. I'm up 40 miles an hour, uh, third gear. There's a mosquito right here by my window. I just let him out. Okay. trailer's solid. I just went over a bunch of potholes and bumps over there. And we are good. Okay. Cruising along uh, 67 miles an hour and 8th gear. Let's see what my fuel economy is telling me I'm getting right at the moment. About 10 right now these little uh little fuel economy gauges i mean who knows how accurate they are it's just kind of a bar graph that goes up and down as as i drive but it's hovering about nine or ten um, now i'm going 75 which i prefer to stay around 70 but i wanted to get past that Another truck, so I'll back it back down to about 70. I'm only going to be on the freeway a few miles, four or five maybe. Right now I'm getting about seven miles to the gallon. I'm going up just a very slight incline and this road's a little bumpy, but I'm holding it at 70. I've got to pass some cars, so I just kicked down to fifth gear and I'm passing them that easy. Easy peasy. And I didn't even have to give it a lot of gas. I just gave it a little bit of throttle just as if I was driving without this trailer and wanted to pass somebody. I know you're not getting a lot of footage of anything but me talking and driving, but I'll, I'll put that, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the weight. Um, I'll put that on there and uh, we'll talk about it. My exit's coming up and there's some cars that are uh, trying to merge on. They're just going to have to work around me because I can't move. Going up a little bit of a hill. Seventh gear, 67 miles an hour, and I'm getting about six miles to the gallon right there. Just going up that little bit of a hill right there. I don't even know the grade. It's just that short of a hill. It's not like they posted the grade or anything. That little stretch on the freeway probably, <laughs> I probably averaged still like five miles of the gallon with 
passing and going up and down the hills and stuff just on that short little stretch but I know that when I was cruising along at just a nice steady speed then I was uh, I was pretty pretty solid there at eight nine miles to the gallon which stands to, which kind of kind of verifies what I did last time when I was uh, actually going camping and, and took it. I was getting about eight or nine miles to the gallon on the, the interstate going 70 miles an hour. So that's pretty decent. Got a little turn. I'm gonna head towards the uh, RV dump. And honestly, even though we used this trailer to camp for a couple nights, couple months ago I have not dumped the tanks this is still a new trailer to us um, I have not dumped the tanks at all so this will be an experience um, it does have two bathrooms so there's two separate black tanks um, on my panel there's two black two gray and then the one fresh um, when I look at the sewer connections there's the front half of the coach has a black and a gray and in the back it just says black so I'm kind of baffled because I mean it and there's I mean the panel says two blacks and two grays but the actual sewer connections there's a black and gray in the front and at the rear where the second bathroom is there is a black water um, connection but I do not see a gray I don't see the little pole for the gray tank on the, the back end I don't I don't think it's dumping into the black tank because number one it filled that black tank too fast number two on my panel it says there's a gray and a black so I'm really mind boggled about where the valve, the wastegate is for that second bathroom. So I guess we'll find out. I figured it out. Cause this is my first time dumping this. Sewer, sewer, black, no gray back here. However, this is where the back bathroom is. And so here's where the kitchen is and Gray water holding tank, sewer outlet, and low point drain. Oh, and gray tank number two. So there's my gray tank too. The black tank was back there. And here's the other ones, the black and the gray. So I was gonna pull this black, but what I'm going to do, I don't have a way to rinse the gray down uh, after, you know, rinse the black down with the gray. So I think I'm gonna connect to the back one first and dump that. That's gonna be kind of messy because when I unhook it, it'll be like sewage instead of gray water rinsed. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll come back and hook up to the front. Alrighty. I'm not gonna film that, that's gross. So guys, I know I said I didn't want to film the stinky slinky moment because you know, it was kind of gross. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, I should have filmed it. I had the most disgusting thing happen. Okay, so remember I told you that I had done a black tank flush. So I had filled all my black tanks, did a full rinse. This trailer's used, by the way. It's a couple years old. I haven't dumped those tanks. I had no idea what I would to expect. I did not poop in it. I didn't poop. We didn't poop. But when I opened that first sewage black tank, that water came out with so much force, it actually made the stinky slinky jump out of the ground 
and pop out and shoot brown gooey pooey stuff everywhere. I mean, you know, it wasn't like pure raw sewage because I'd filled up the tank and it was pretty much empty before that, but it hadn't been flushed in a while. I, the black tank flush, <laughs> not like flushed, but yeah, some chunks came out of there and it was, I had to grab the end of the hose and stick it back in the hole as quick as I could. It was disgusting. I didn't get any on me. No worries there. Not a lot spilled. I was able to t shut it off. Um, but I had to rinse it down, of course, you know. Keep it keep it clean for the next person. But I, you know, it's funny because I have been doing... I've had... This is my fourth RV. I am familiar with how to dump. I've been doing it for decades now. And that was the funniest thing ever. I mean, I, it's never happened to me like that, ever. Uh, so, lessons learned. Uh, number one, uh, that black tank has a lot of pressure in it. Number two is number two. Somebody else is number two. That's even grosser. Uh, but that's it, I guess. I don't know, it was just hilarious. I was like, ah, oh, I should have filmed it. It probably would have made for a viral YouTube video. So, let me kind of wrap up um, what we're doing. I'm almost back to the house. I've got the tanks dumped. Um, I did a little reset on one of my trip odometers here. It says I've gone, it, I've been gone an hour. Of course, you know, drive time and everything. Idle time. Um, weighing myself on the scales. Uh, I, I drove 23 and a half miles and the average MPGs on the little telltale, you know, the little lyometer as people call them sometimes, says I got 6.6 .6 miles to the gallon. Um, that's probably pretty, pretty fair. I was doing a lot of acceleration on the freeway and things like that. I wasn't really like babying my uh, gas pedal, you know, just trying to get a good feel for how this truck pulled with um, the trailer full of, you know, with the full tanks basically. And just wanted to get an idea of that, but it successful. It was, it was a good little run. Um, I think it was probably pretty heavy. It'd be kind of cool to go uh, weigh it now after to make sure. Okay, so my front gross axle rating is 4,800 pounds. The rear is 6,340, and the total gross vehicle weight rating is 10,000 pounds. The, um, when I weighed it, the steer axle was at 4,140, the drive axle 5,120, the trailer axle 9,680, and the gross weight was 18,940 pounds. Now my estimated truck weight is about 7,200 pounds. So if I take that gross weight, subtract the truck weight, then that puts me at a trailer weight of 11,740 pounds. Now my unloaded trailer weight is 10,029 pounds. So that put my total cargo weight of 1,711 pounds. That included my fresh water, gray water, black water, and the few blankets and things we had in the trailer also. But uh, hey, just to wrap it up, I want to say thanks for watching.